We're going to fix some Excel formulas today. And so there, your VLOOKUP might not be working. Your fun, sum formula might be acting a little bit funky. And the problem, in, it could be that your data is formatted as text. And data can definitely be formatted as text if you're importing it from another system like a CRM or a workforce management system. So I'm going to walk through some examples of where data formatted as text is going to give you some errors in your formula. I'm going to give you two ways to identify whether your data is formatted as text and then a solution. So let's jump right in. Here's a VLOOKUP and we're going to look up this customer number in the this table here and return the second column and um, as you can clearly as you can see the formula gives you a pound na but that customer is number is in the table so something's not going right um, in addition I'm going to sum the sales amount column and you can see that there's data in the in the sum in the in that column and yet the sum formula returns zero dollars. So something is, is going wrong and it's because the data is formatted as text. And there's two ways to identify if the data is formatted as text. The first is this green arrow. And that green arrow tells you that the data is formatted as text. In fact, if you click on this exclamation point, it'll tell you that your number is stored as text. Um, and sometimes your numbers can be stored as text but not have that very helpful green arrow. And a quick way to figure that out is just using the count formula. So count the values, count looks for actual numerical values. And if you count the data in this column, it returns a zero. So clearly the numbers are formatted as text and something isn't going right. Um, and if you've learned anything yet, Click, please click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of my videos with Excel tips and tricks. And so let's get into the solution. So highlight the data, go to data up here, up top, and click text to columns. Now there's a lot of options here, but in this instance, just clicking finish is going to give the solution. So click finish, and as you can see, the view lookup starts to work and it returns the, the appropriate amount that you would expect. Um, in addition, we're gonna highlight the sale amount column and we're gonna go to data, text to columns, and press finish, and the sum formula is gonna work. And so, um, if you learned anything today, please click the, the thumbs up button on this video. And if you want some practice data where you can practice for um, on this stuff yourself, head over to the link in the description. Thanks so much for joining today.